Tony, I think we've got to start by explaining what the drink is here. Yeah, easy, the first easy. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a mate. This is a typical Argentina drink. Gaffa show me how uh, it's possible uh, to prepare. To prepare. Uh, uh, the name is Cebar. And Gaffa is very fresh, uh, friend of me because he said that uh, I, I cebo very well. <laughs> you prepare the, the mate very well. He prepares. No. So which it's one of the best. It's one of the best. It's better than many Argentina people. Miguel, when did you first come across Maurizio? Come across. When did you first meet? Uh, when I was in New South Boys, I was a kid, uh, and he was already playing the in the first team when, when I arrived and then we played together and and we shared a, a nice nice moment together. Did you get on straight away? Yes, he has his his quality, his uh, big heart, big heart and it was for the first moment we uh, I met him it was very easy to to speak with him and to be with him. It's true he always liked to speak with the physical coach, the sports science uh, always who, he was very curious uh, about everything and we could see from this moment uh, uh, his curiosity and he decided to know about everything. So they were tough days, right, with Bielsa? It was very tough. I remember we spent most of the time in the hotel, but it wasn't a hotel, it was uh, like an army. Uh, yes. We spent most of the time there than the, with, the, with the family. But at the same time, it was a very special, special moment. We were playing the, the league and the Copa Libertadores. We were a very, very successful period of the club. And most of the players, we, were, we came from the, from the club, from the academy. And it was a magnifi magnificent moment. The first time uh, in Norcia? Yes. In Norcia in 1994. He, he came from uh, Argentina, from Mule, and I saw who was the, the best center back. <laughs> it's true, it's true, it's true. Uh, okay, after two months. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because the <laughs> first game was, remember, that we were playing in Perugia, remember? What was, was that? It uh, uh, was a draw. It was a draw, but... Not one, good, Maurizio? Eh? Not a good start for you? That nah, was difficult. Uh, after no pre-season, uh, I arrived to Espanyol and go, they were in pre-season already. And it was difficult to adapt myself to the new philosophy, new style, uh, European football. And it was so tough, so tough, so tough. Tony, can I, I don't want to give you too many bad memories, but the 2000 Copa del Rey final. Obviously, you were in different teams by yes, that point. Uh, a winner and a, a loser. No, you are a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. It's... But did he do something that day that made you think of him even more highly? Yes. Um, okay. Uh, I was when we we finished the game. I was dead, dead because we we lose, we lost uh, the final. I was dead. Uh, but when finished the game, I remember always. I, I will remember. Um, I was uh, in, in the shower, and um, uh, he, in the moment, the moment for him was uh, very happy and, and enjoyed the, 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 the win. He lost uh, five minutes with me. For me, it uh, was a very special moment. Hard, no, but always remember. No, because this season was so, so tough for him. Uh, his dad passed away and we shared a lot of uh, time together. He was in, in Atletico Madrid, but he traveled a lot to, to Barcelona. And, um, and of course, it was a, a very de delicate moment. In the same way that I was, was uh, happy uh, to win the, the, the Copa del Rey, but uh, in the same way, you are so sad because your friend is, is, is suffered a lot. No? And, uh, and of course, me and, and another uh, friend of him, uh, we were there and on the change room because um, no, when your people and people that you love, uh, you see suffering, I think it's never complete your, your happiness. No? So it's back in uh, 2010. Um, he invited me to join uh, 
Espanyol, and since then uh, I'm a lucky man to be part of uh, his team. So what was your background? Tell me your background. Well, my background, so I couldn't play professional because I wasn't good enough. Me neither. So, but my passion always was to be a player. Uh, so when I was 17, I went to university to get my degrees on sports sciences and my wages uh, as, a, um, as a coach. So and I had experience in different clubs with different managers. Invite me and changed completely my, my life in this game. How did it change? Yeah, because uh, it makes you feel special and it makes you feel uh, important. So you can see from the players, you know, when the players speak about him, this is why you give uh, more than you really have. And I think this is his, his best quality, despite the great qualities as a manager, is to get from each one what, what probably most of us, we are incapable to do it, you know? So because to pick a team is easy, to design a training, it's very, it's very simple. But to manage the consequences of everything you do every day, I think that's, that's key. And only special people can do that. Nice, Mercio, isn't that it? That is why I am a very lucky man <laughs> to have these people with me. They are loyal, they are uh, honest, they are uh, a people that uh, feel the passion about the, the passion that is football. And then, with the people behave like this and act like this, uh, it's, it's normal that you are going to trust. Jesus, how did you persuade him to come to England? Because I think you had quite a big role. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there was a coincidence before to join uh, uh, his team. Um, I was here in England for one month, watching trainings and uh, games and, you know, and then knowing the way he feels, the way he trains, the intensity he applies, you know. Uh, when this situation uh, came, uh, just his wife and myself, we, 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 we told him, listen, uh, to get the Premier League, to get one Premier League team, you know, is almost impossible for the European uh, coaches, you know, to have this opportunity to prove uh, the way you feel football, uh, the respect in England uh, looks like uh, can provide to the manager, you know, the passion, intensity, especially from the English uh, players, with full respect for the, all the Europeans or world-class uh, players too, you know, why not? And then the scenario, uh, the perfect scenario uh, came there and look, without, I think in between all four, we spoke two, two sentences in English, you know, and destroy... Well, luckily, we've got better now. <laughs> no, no, come yeah. on, no way. <laughs> For us, it was difficult, Tony. Yeah, well, well. <laughs> and he, he proved one thing, you know, because oh, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to bring one with you. No, you have to be yourself. And we arrived there. He was himself, uh, with our help, of course. And five years and a half later, still here. Southampton obviously went fantastically well, but in the early days here, before you beat Aston Villa, how worried were you all? Because you've talked about it, haven't you? It wasn't you were yes, worried yes, about. Yes, yes, no, of course, I, we were worried. Yeah. I remember always the, this day, um, um, in the last few minutes, uh, I was uh, walking on the touchline before uh, Harry Kane scored from the free kick. I turn and say, you ready? You're all, all prepared? Uh, well, like suitcase your back, <laughs> suitcase, su your suitcase again, because I think today we, we are going to have the, to take the ticket to come back to Barcelona, no? <laughs> that was the reality. You all thought the same? Yes, in this moment it was, <laughs> was tough. Moment was because it was tough the, the, day, bef the day before. Uh, we were not in the best position in the, in the table. Uh, I remember the, this day and the night in the hotel before. And, and then in the game it was the bad scenario. And everything was bad, 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 bad until in the last moment. Harry Kane up here. Up here. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you think you have changed the, like the mentality, the DNA of Tottenham? Working hard, working hard is the key. I think we are a lucky uh, people, players and staff, uh, this season to, to have the possibility to, 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 to face uh, Real Madrid and, and Juventus. Because uh, um, football is 
on and off the, of the beach, on and off. I think that was for me uh, uh, the last step to realize that we are in a very good way. We are doing a fantastic job, but you cannot change everything in one, two, or three years. It's all about patience and, and time. But uh, keeping the same pace of working, uh, humble, working hard, and, and always thinking that every day you can improve. And every day you, you build your, your history and you build your, uh, your success. No? How much better at Tottenham has it been than you could possibly have imagined? And what are your hopes for the future with this project? It's obvious how good the team it's been in the last four seasons. Uh, you mentioned before uh, the day Aston Villa. So if we go back that night, Sunday evening, till Wednesday, you only can be proud of the team, the first, the players, of course, the club, and every, everything it's been, it's been showing in the last uh, four seasons. After the... After the, the for years, the future, uh, the, the best is, is ahead, no? It's coming. coming. One more and we'll, we'll do the, what we need to do to, to get there. No, I think I, am, I feel so proud. I feel so proud um, from all the players that uh, were involved, uh, the players that are with us from the beginning and the players that came and the players that were with us. I think all was part of the process to, to build uh, this mentality to build this uh, philosophy and I, f I feel very proud about the staff uh, of Tottenham staff uh, of course uh, the every single people that uh, is involved every day here and, uh, and of course it's a, a long way to um, and we feel um, uh, sad because uh, of course that our fans uh, want more and uh, won a trophy and we feel sad and the player and the staff and everything on the club because we cannot deliver it, still we cannot deliver this, uh, this trophy that they, they, they won. But uh, sure that for me the message is, uh, is about that we are going to try with our uh, all knowledge and power to try to deliver all the fun that the, the fan won and on the end that is the thing that we won, the player won, the staff won. And, um, and for me, the future will be brilliant in this club because uh, you only can see the facilities on the training ground, the new hotel, the stadium, that will be the fantastic stadium. And I think it uh, will be a, a club that uh, fantastic with our amazing fans to, to enjoy in the, in the future. The club has everything to be a, success, uh, a successful club. Um, I think to have the possibility to be one of the most important club in the in the in the